March 12, 2011, Kevin Smith brings his Red State USA tour here to the Midland Theater in Kansas City, and this stop proved to be unlike any other stop on the tour. The Westboro Baptist Church from Topeka, Kansas announced they were going to picket the show. Supporters of the film showed up to do a counter-protest as long as witness a Q&A with the church after the show. However, this was not meant to be. And she gave me those signs and I said, wait, where are you going? She goes, where are we going to go? I said, why? She goes, this is filthy. <laughs> Luckily for the audience in attendance that night, and for you, the Smodcast Internet Television viewer, something better happened. When Kevin Smith, on this very stage, sat down to interview two former members of the Westboro Baptist Church. Hi, I'm Libby Phelps. I'm Josh Phelps Roper. Okay, and hi. We, just, we wanted to let you know that we're Phelpses and we stayed for the whole movie. Now wait, are, are you are you guys are you, uh, we're black sheep? We rolled out. So you're not part of the. Oh my God! Come on up, man! Come on up! Wow. Um, okay, you guys are out. You've been out for a while. Two years. Tomorrow is my anniversary. Two year anniversary. <laughs> When, two years you've been out. What was it? What uh, what bro what was the straw that broke the camel's back? Oh, there were there were a whole bunch of things. They started praying for people to die and just taking insignificant issues and blowing them way out of proportion. Um. So, but why was that beyond the pale? Like, why or did you just did you just grow up? Or was that like years I got older? Yeah, as I, as I got older too, and it was just like when we grew up, and that that's all we ever knew, and it was just normal for us. And our parents told us, you know, everyone's gonna hate you. Just you know, get used to it. But I, well, we went to Puerto Rico and I saw people, people from like Spain and different countries and I was like, there's no way that just, you know, 50 people and God only loves those 50 people. Yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I thought I was doing the right thing all the time, you know, going out there trying to tell people that they're going to go to hell. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> but I really, I, I believed I was doing the right thing. And when I didn't believe I was doing the right thing anymore, I left. And how, how did, well done, right? Fucking A. So awesome. Um, how hard was it to leave in terms of like, well, emotionally for you, number one, how hard was it to leave? And number two, how hard was it to leave once they found out? Like, did you get catch shit for it? Or? Um, I was 19 when I left, and uh, I thought I was a hard ass, and I could just do it, and it wouldn't be a big deal. And it was pretty devastating after I left. You know, I was missing my little brothers. I have 10 brothers and sisters. And I was missing all of them because I watched my four youngest brothers all the time. I uh, babysat them every day. And when I wasn't doing that anymore, I thought, you know, I'd have my friends to lean on and whatever. And it, you know, you can lean on people, but it still hurts a lot. That's so fucking weird. So you spent like a lot of time uh, with a group that was just like, we hate fags. And then when you left your family, you're kind of living the life of gay people where they make their own family outside their own family. I've thought about that a lot, that, you know, there's a lot of stuff out there that I remember my family saying that uh, the rates of um, gay kids' suicide are higher and that's God's punishment on them. And then when you go out and you're sitting there and you're like, you know, I'm completely by myself. This is really depressing. I completely understand why that happens, and it, it, it's shit. I feel really bad for them, and I feel really bad for anybody that's got to deal with that. I know I pissed a lot of people off with what I was doing, but the people I pissed... Thank you. But the, you I saw a lot of the dark side of a lot of people doing that. You know, I, I know I brought it out, but it's made me really, you know, hard to trust. Organized religion, to be honest with you. And I go to churches for uh, for weddings and for funerals, and I know that... There's a lot of people in there that are good people that want good things for me and for my family and for the world. Um, I've just had a really hard time finding any place that I can kind of fit in with. Right, all right. But well, she's committed, you think? Yeah, she's, I think they're really committed. I don't, don't ask me what's going to happen if he dies. I don't know what's going to happen, but uh, they're pretty He's going to go to heaven. Uh, <laughs> Tim or Steve are going to take over. Did you ever get to talk to Tim or Steve? Is there Westboro Steve? He's on Twitter, or WBC Steve? Yeah, Probably, yeah. Is he a relative? No, he's the one that did a documentary called Hate Monger. Steve came to, uh, to my work and asked me if I'd go talk to him, and I was still, you know, growing up, doing what I was told. I was still pretty impressionable. I just kind of went with him, and we were talking, and... Uh, he was just being an absolute prick. So you left in the middle of the night and shit? Did they, everyone was sleeping? Yeah. 
Everybody was sleeping. Did you tell your mom in advance that you were going to leave? We I left a letter, and, uh, and that was it. But uh, Steve was an asshole, but I just wanted to get him the hell away from me. So that's why, to this day, I'll give Steve Drain the bird every time I see him. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, dude, you don't have to apologize to this crowd, man. You give them a lot more of the bird, they'd support that. True. What, did you guys ever go out to the movies? Big fan of Clerks too. Yeah? Did you guys watch that there? I, uh, I don't know if I watched it there or not. I think I might have, depending on when it was released. I saw it right when it came out. But... In theaters? No, I didn't get to see it in theaters. Fuck. I uh, <laughs> was a little restricted. I didn't get to go to a lot of movies. I would imagine. I saw yeah, a lot yeah. of stuff on DVD. I was going around town and shit. Are people like, fuck you? And you're like, hey, God bless you. Uh, people <laughs> would recognize us. Like one time I was walking to Best Buy and they're like, there's that damn Phelps. And I would just be like, yeah. And just, that's how we were, just like really always happy. And someone recognized us, we we're just like, oh my God, yeah. Just exciting. <laughs> is that really? Is, is that the inside? Is, is not yeah, because, because whenever anybody, anyone would do that, if they would say something mean, then, then um, our family would say, all they're thinking about is God hates back. We were in Seattle one time and I saw a mob and we were about to leave and we actually started to walk away and they were pissed and they took off after us and uh, we were getting into the, like, the vans or whatever that we had rented and I'm looking back and I just see this swarm. I mean, there must have been a couple hundred people and they were pissed and they're running up and the cops were, you know, being cops. Thank God they were there because I probably wouldn't be here if they weren't. But the first guy that got through them, you know, I saw him get slammed on top of the car and I was just like, holy shit, this is real. And, uh, you know, we drove off really fast, but, you know, when you're in, in <laughs> They public, drove in off? Public, yeah, the God off, likes yeah. speeding. Exactly. <laughs> Have you ever been to a San Francisco Pride Parade? We, I picketed there, and there was a cop. I remember this one incident. Someone was throwing eggs at us, and a cop went out to stop him, and they just, like, mauled him. He came back with blood everywhere. The cop did? Yes, I saw it. Look at so you I smiling. Was, I, was like, I, was like, I don't know why I wasn't scared at all. It was kind well, of if you're raising it, I guess you just don't think about it. That's normalcy at that yeah, point. Exactly. That's why in your movie, you know, when they're like shooting and, and then the guy says, hey, can you go get me some tea or whatever? That it reminded me of when we were picketing. It would be like really intense. We would be talking about like dinner plans or, you know, what movie we were going to watch or something like that. And I was like, this is a lot of stuff in the movie. I'm like, that's so on point. It was really good. It was really good. <laughs> it was. <laughs> <laughs> you just made up for a year of bad reviews on Cop Out. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, the his name is Michael Park, the guy that played Michael Parks. Yeah, yeah. that was uh, that was just surreal. The stuff he was saying, the fact you know he held up the flyer, the piece of paper. I mean that that is my grandfather to a T. <laughs> Made this flyer this week, sent it out, put it on the fax machine, went out to everybody. God hates New Zealand. I mean, that's it. The, the whole, the, uh, the stuff he was saying is right on. And then the, I thought it was really funny, the, uh, the thing that was holding the little tripod. Yeah. There, there's a tripod in the church and it holds little signs and stuff. I mean, that was freaking perfect. What, the little, like an easel kind of yeah, thing? Yeah, exactly. There's different stuff on there every week or whatever. And well, the signs, signs all, all over the, the building, the, uh, or the, the walls. building. yeah. So they were, that was my impre my impression was like uh, that. In fact, that the art room where they kind of have the the big standoff with the government, with a pfft, where they're shooting, and he's like, "Get me some sweet tea." That was the room where they create all the posters and shit. And that was like added like two days before production began. So like we're gonna have a the scene in the front room. They're putting together a living room. And I was like, you know what's missing here is like where would they make the signs? Let's make the front room the sign room and shit like that. Is there a sign room? They must make signs somewhere, right? Were you there when they they built onto the garage? Were you there when we did that? No, that was right after I left. The, you know, with the saran wrap that reminded me of we would have to tape the signs. And that's what I thought it was with the clear tape. And yeah. we just if keep you it If you'd have used clear tape, I, I'd have shit my pants. Yeah, I was just. <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought that you guys did that because of the tape. And I was like, oh my God, he's so smart. But you didn't I'm going to do a reshoot next week. <laughs> how do they fucking make money, man? How, is the, how, how do they live? We, like, yeah. we go to school and we work hard for our money. Like, I'm a physical therapist. No, no, not you guys. Well, that's, but that's how, like, when we were raised, we would go to school. Yeah. And then we just get jobs, and that's how they pay for it. I mean, I, I, that's what I did before I left. I mean, I, I got a job, and I paid, like, we went on picketing trips. I would pay for my airfare and, 
you know, the hotel and everything. So we just paid for everything. You're, they make you pay for your own airfare and hotels when you go pick it out of your money? Yes. <laughs> you got fucked, man. Like, that's. <laughs> I gotta go all over the country, though. <laughs> I did. I've been everywhere. That's, that's the consolation prize. I got that's, to see is... a lot of the country. So I bet they regret no. leaving now because we're up here dominating their airtime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they want publicity. That's all they want. Oh, my God. Say it. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows it, but go ahead. Tell them the ultimate truth. All they want is publicity. <laughs> um, I can't believe that you guys were, were, were uh, number one here. That's so cool to me. And nobody told me that. That is a neat thing. Thank you so much. But uh, more importantly, thanks for getting out because fuck it you know i mean yipes it's nice that you actually kind of said i'm done with this and kind of left it behind some people find themselves in a situation especially one they were raised in stay in it you know trapped or otherwise um but yeah i mean uh, uh, um, very heroic what you did stepping out of there man uh good for you guys congratulations thank you thanks